Has your coach ever told you, you gotta play off two feet? I'm gonna talk to you about when you should not play off two feet, but also when you should and how to play off two feet. And be sure to stay till the very end where I will give you a specific drill that you can use to work on finishing off of two feet. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we wanna talk about is when you should not play off two feet. Don't do it. Because the truth is, the best players in the world are not always going off two feet and neither should you. The first scenario where you should be going off of one foot instead of two is gonna be on a fast break. When you're on a fast break and the defense is all behind you, there is no reason to go off of two feet because it is slower and it's going to give the defense opportunity to catch up. Even if you can dunk the ball, if you are going on a fast break and the defense is behind you and you do a one, two step to gather just so you can get a crowd pleasing dunk, you are now risking the opportunity for the defense to catch up and potentially block your shot. So when you are on a fast break by yourself in front of all of the defenders, go as fast as you can and then go off of one foot, extending your arm and get into the basket as quickly as possible to make the layup. The next situation where you can go off of one foot is when you are in the half court and it is more of a spread out type of offense and there's not a big man inside to potentially block your shot. So same type of scenario where you might be getting by your defender and now he's behind you or on your hip. We can continue to hold him off with our body, keep him behind us or create some separation if he's by our side and then extend to the basket going off of one foot. There's no reason to have to go off of two feet because the defense is behind us and we don't have to worry about a shot blocker at the rim. So those are the two most common situations where you should be going off of one foot instead of two feet. Now let's talk about when we should be going off of two feet. When our defender is on our hip and or he's continuing to be in front of us, we can't get that separation. Maybe he's more physical, he's stronger than us, and we can't create that separation that we need to go off of one foot and extend. We now wanna go off of two feet so that we can have balance and we don't have to necessarily shoot the ball if we don't want to and we don't have a great shot. So as we get in here and he's on our hip, we wanna to come to a two-footed stride stop so that we don't have to shoot the ball, so that we have options. We can shot fake, we can make passes out on the perimeter. So keep that in mind. When your defender is on your hip, we don't have great separation, we don't know for sure that we want to shoot the ball, then do not jump off one foot and shoot a bad shot or be forced to get in the air and have to find somebody to pass to in that situation. Instead, play off of two feet. Look at the rim, look to shoot, and look for your shot fake opportunities, as well as being able to then come to a stop, pivot, and look for your teammates so that you can pass the ball effectively to guys that are open. The next situation would be when you go by your defender, but the help defense is in place. But maybe you're in a four out situation, there's a big man at the rim. This will make it tough to go off of one foot. So here you need to be thinking about two footed stops, two footed finishes as well. So even though we blow by the guy that is guarding us, here comes the help defense. We don't wanna jump off of one foot and make a crazy pass. We don't wanna jump off of one foot and create a possible charge opportunity for the defense. Instead, we wanna think about playing off of two feet here so that we can see the court, see the help defense. We can decide if we wanna shoot it. There's a wrong way and a right way to play off of two feet. Let's talk about it. First, I want to explain how to not jump off of two feet. Here's what I do not like seeing and what I discourage you from doing as well. And that is jumping with an inside open chest to the rim. Let me explain. As I get here and I take a few dribbles and I go left, right, I am now opened up to the basket. My chest is facing the basket here and I'm opened up and it's very easy for the defense to block my shot. Also, if I don't like my shot opportunity here, I'm very limited on my options as far as what else I can do now. So if I don't like my shot and I go to pivot, the defense is in front of me here. 
if I go to pivot away, I don't have an opportunity to even shoot it like this. It's extremely awkward. I don't have good pivot angles. So do not open your shoulders. Do not have a left right two foot takeoff on the right side as a righty. If you're doing it on the left side, trying to finish with the left hand, it's the opposite. We would want to avoid a right left step finish and having our chest open on the left side. So that is how I do not want you to play off two feet when you do need to play off two feet. Now let's talk about how to play off two feet when you should play off of two feet. I want you to think back and watch some of the best dunks of all time. And I want you to watch their footwork. Watch Jordan dunking on Patrick Ewing. Watch Anthony Edwards here. Watch other players and watch their footwork. When Jordan made his spin move dunk, he went right, left, and then jumped. When it comes to a right-handed player, for example, and the best dunks of all time jumping off of two feet, you will always see them jump right, left, and then jump and dunk with their right hand. This is because from a fundamental and mechanical standpoint, you are able to jump your highest when you're trying to reach the top with your strong right hand when you go right, left. But coach, I can't dunk the ball. This doesn't apply to me. Yes, it does. Most players can't dunk in basketball, but the footwork that we're talking here still applies even if you can't dunk. The footwork is still the same even if you're just trying to make a layup or score over a defender. Let me show you. Hang on, before we move on, I wanna remind you guys about the launch of the individual personal training Facebook group. Here's what you get by joining the group. I've got a 100 page document of tons of shooting drills that you can apply to yourself right away. You will be able to upload your videos and I will give you my breakdown and my feedback for you to become a better shooter. Next, we will have a weekly question and answer section. I will go live on there and you can come on there and you can ask any questions. Hit the link below to join. So if we were going to dunk the ball, I would come down here, I would go right, left, and I would try to dunk it as hard as I can, jumping as high as I can. But the same thing, if we're not gonna dunk it, we want the same footwork. So as I get down here, I wanna go right, left, and I'm closing my shoulder to the defender. I'm not open like we talked about, Instead, I am closed. My shoulder is closed and I'm jumping into the defender with my lead shoulder. This is going to do several things for us. Number one, you're going to avoid getting blocked very often because your shoulder's going into the defender and your chest is not open to him. Number two, it allows counters. One, two, I look to shoot it. If I don't like that, I can then front pivot and I've got great balance and a great angle for my fadeaway. Next, if I don't like my fadeaway, as I come here, I can step through now, still getting my shot up. And then of course, my last option, if I don't like my shot, I can easily pass out from this position as well. All right, now let's give you a breakdown drill of something that you can use every single day and use to practice finishing off of two feet. We're using this chair as a screener. We're gonna work on different finishes and it's all a progression. One leads into the next, and this is how you should be thinking about your finishing in a game. Do not predetermine that you're going to shoot a fadeaway or a different counter before they've taken away your primary finish. So use this as a ball screen here. Take your man down, come off of it. Always come off in a variety of ways. Sometimes crossover, behind the back, between the legs. You're gonna come off of it different ways. Now we're attacking the rim. You can do in and out and come to the left and do the same type of finishes. On the left side, make sure you're going left, right. But for demonstration purposes, I'll show you guys everything going to our right side. So after we've made a shot or two here, 
We're now going to work on crossover, head fake, and we're getting to the right side. And now we use our stride stop. Right, left, shoulder closed. First one is a simple finish. After that, we want to progress on to the next levels, but we want it all to look the same as the first one. The next one we want to do is going to be a shot fake layup. It all needs to look the same. So we're here, shot fake, making it look the same, and then we're going up. Next will be a fadeaway. Now what's important here is when I go to my stride stop, I have a good angle where my body is facing this corner. So if my angle is good, my shoulders closed, this is only about a 180 degree turn instead of here and having to do a 360 degree turn. We do not want to have our shoulders open. We do not want to be facing the baseline. Next, after we got them on the fadeaway, we now want to use a step through. Stride stop, show it, good angle, pivot, show it, and then step through. We want to go ear to ear. We don't want to go high, low. We want to go ear to ear, stepping through. Here, step through, lay up. So those are four finishes that you can be working on every single day off of two feet to help you with your game. If you've learned anything in this video about basketball, about two foot finishes, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I post videos every single week about basketball shooting, basketball training, and your overall mentality. My goal on this channel is to make you the best basketball player that you can become. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.